Hi, my name is Akil Dislakman and I work with the Voice of the River Valley Museum. Uh, today I'm going to talk about Sphinx. First we're going to start it with what is Sphinx. Sphinx has an ability to scare people from taking treasure from the pyramids. Sphinx is based by a lion with a king or god's head. Sphinx is located in Egypt. The Egyptians built Sphinx statues to guard important areas such as tombs and temples. Fun fact about Sphinx. Sphinx is one of the largest statues in the world. A Napoleon man shot a stone using a slingshot to Sphinx nose and broke it. There are a tail wrapped into, le into the left paws of Sphinx. Sphinx is humongous. It is 241 feet long, 20 feet wide, and 60 feet high. Now let's get to some question. First question is what is what culture universal does this artifact most relate to and why? If you don't know what culture universal is, it is a way to make a civilization. Geo the culture universal is geography, religion, technology and architecture. Geography is where the Sphinx is. Religion is because people think that Sphinx sense is a god hand and they pray for it. Technology is how they built it with architecture because it's a structure. What does it tell us about the life and times of the people who made it and used it? People prayed for it in ancient days and people built the Sphinx to protect the pyramid because they believed in afterlife. But now people just visit it and imagine what was happening in the past. Can you name a similar item today? Malaysia's Sphinx Mall at Kuala Lumpur was similar to Sphinx because it was inspired by a Malaysia government. And lastly, what cult cultural universal does this artifact most relate to and why? Technology because it was built in ancient Egypt without any uh, trucks, cranes, and etc. Goodbye.